you put the start button it will gonna come and open the software the software has this software is for designers or for builders okay when the software coming up it asks ask you for a new one a log one or help a log is to use the last ones that you make it before you will gonna put a new one in this case in this video I already set it up the walls to 10 foot and 8 inches in other video I wanna show you all how you could set it up the walls and the width and everything all the settings right now I wanna do a rendering in 10 minutes that somebody could make it with no experience okay I use a free wall and I'm gonna give you more details about doing this in the other videos right now I'm gonna do a rendering in 10 minutes okay then I am doing a room it's really important that after hit the corners and I close it I screw up with the with the mouse and I will gonna make it larger this area in that way I am looking to put my kitchen here in this corner my I had here my windows and everything and I have windows single door and a sliding door here is the settings I have the settings to change it I already set up my 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 settings I will not gonna show you in this the settings another video I wanna show you the settings here is a door I wanna put the entry door down there if I could hit again I could start installing more I wanna put windows it's really important to put a windows inside the room or inside the home because you need to have a light okay the kitchen will gonna be here and we need some light the other thing is you have to have enough light in order to have your rendering then I am putting a sliding door you hit it down there a sliding door and look automatically put it down there you could put it on the center you could do whatever look when you hit escape you just get out from that then I had already in less than uh, two minutes the windows and the doors and the sliding door I want to put my living room here in this corner and I want to put my kitchen here I want to put entertainment center here in the center then here it gives me another option is columns cylinder grinders and pa uh, partition walls I want to do that in another video okay the next step I go and after I do the lines here start recognizing the floor plan yeah I get the floor plan okay it's still in second D after I hit the second D it gives me the furniture then I will want to put a living room not for a single not for a single I want to put a set box something that is a square this is a square in the corner let's go see which one is other square here is an space Did you see this is square I like that one is a square I want to choose this because that will gonna be fitting in my corner look I put apply and the whole living room go down there look if I put it here it will not gonna look it has tuned you see but that's my kitchen the place of my kitchen here will gonna be my living room then I put it down there on the corner then what I do I move it a little bit the the, the door and I have my corner down there here I want to put the entertainment center then I hit furniture here it says model set single set single model I want to hit single model in that way I have my TV I have I like this I hit it I apply I put it on the center here in the front of the living room you see I wanna put it down there yeah I hit it down there and with the with the spacer I could turn it look you see I could turn it anyone that whatever I like it then if I put it down there I will gonna move the window look okay I move this one to the center a little bit and then I put it down there. A window that I turn it back here. One window on each side. Okay. The next step, I wanna put my kitchen corner because I have my corner specific for my kitchen. I hit the product again. I go to set. If you see the mouse, look in the corner. It says living room kitchen. But I will wanna know single. I wanna go to a model set. Model set kitchen. And it will wanna give me the line of the kitchen. But I, I like to have a L shape then here is a linear here is a L shape and here is the U shape I don't have something for U shape but I want to do a L shape okay then when I have the L shape I want to do this one L shape I want to put this kitchen I like this kitchen like L shape this is the traditional here in the United States but I want to be using this I like it this one I choose it I hit it apply 
and then as you see look you don't need to be if you want to tune it you could the spacer you could tune it look <coughs> you could tune it as far as you like it okay the next step is down there okay done i have my kitchen i want to put something to see it here then i want to hit product then i go to single model uh-huh and as you see i want to hit kitchen okay why because i want to have a place to sit i could put this one here look i chose this i apply uh-huh and i have a place to sit here look i turn it uh-huh the opposite way look down there i see it down there okay i could add here is i like it more kitchen cabinets for example here look is i want to have like this that is like a look in space this is like a, a storage I could put it here, look. I could put it here after the window. You see, and then it's part of the kitchen and it's, it looks nice. That's it, I don't need nothing else. That's it. The next step, it will gonna give me a ceiling. Right now I have my walls at 10 foot. I have my windows, I have my doors. Then the next step, it, when I hit ceiling, it says search for ceiling. Then I wanna put a search for ceiling to give me a ceiling on the top of the walls. Then when I hit inside the room, Look, it will gonna make a line. It will gonna tell me, do you use any ceiling? I say no. Ceiling lights embedded? I say yes. How high you wanna have the ceiling? I say okay, the, the walls are 10. Then I wanna make my ceiling 10 foot too. Okay? The same thing that the walls, in that way they match. As you see here, I don't have no ceiling. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna show the ceiling. As soon as I hit this, look this line. That's the ceiling. It's already make it automatically the ceiling. I want to have a drop ceiling inside. Yeah? Then I could make a block ceiling. I want to make it two block ceilings inside here and inside here. Look. When I do this, I hit it. I don't leave it. And look, I make it a square. Look. I hit I leave it down there. Boom. It tells me you like it to have drop it down like knife foot. I say yes. And I have here at least here. When I hit this option, I hit option. And that option gives me different ceilings. You see these ceilings? I could choose any kind of ceilings, press set, automatically to put it in the kitchen. Then if I want to have a nice ceiling, for example, I want to put this one. Yeah. I will going to be putting, uh, let me see, it's for the kitchen. I want to put this one in the kitchen. Okay. As soon as I have this in the kitchen or in the living room, it will going to give me right now here. Look, I have this kind of ceiling. When I hit the square hit, I have the option, look, when I hit this, I could move it, if that's not on the same spot that I like it, I want to move it, this ceiling here, look, okay, I leave it, I want to do another ceiling here, I hit it, I hit another ceiling here, okay, and then I want to choose another ceiling here, option, aha, uh -huh. and I want to put this nice ceiling. As you see, I already had two ceilings, different ceilings, in just one area. Then the next step, I will want to be sure that I had a light in front of the cabinets, or I could have a, a just single spotlights. I want to put the spotlights in that way I could have more light in my living room, in the top of the entertainment center, around the home, in that way I don't have darker spots. Okay, then as you see, this light will gonna give me the lighting of around my kitchen here on the kitchen on this because they are sitting. I wanna put one down there and one here because they I wanna have a direct light for them for the people that sit here. I have my lights and I have here one, here one. Then at this point, I already have my drop ceiling. I have two drop ceilings as you see. I have my walls and I have my windows. Then when I hit this one. I don't need no linear lights. Okay, I finished with this step. The next step it says here. I could do right now my floor plan and it will gonna make it, but I don't need it, the quotation. That's another video. Okay, then I go again, I hit next. As I tell you, I am in the second floor. Okay? Right now we're gonna go from second floor to 3D. Mm -hmm. We have a preset flooring with colors with tile, with everything, that already preset, as soon as we hit it, we could change it, 
look, when we have this enter, we will gonna go inside the, the product. See, we are inside. We are inside. When we hit the, the feet here, we could be walking with the mouse. Look, we go down there, we go down there. Look, we could turn. As you see here, at this moment, if you hit it twice here, here is the living room. This is the area where we are. If we hit it twice, uh -huh, and we show the camera where we want to see it, it will want to put us in that direction. You see, right now, I don't have nothing in these windows. There is no reflection outside. There is nothing outside. The lights I still don't do the rendering. The option that I have to choose is this one. Okay, edit or light. That will gonna help me to put window through the windows the light. Look, when I hit the window, it gives me here that is 180. 180, the light is down. But look, when I go up, look how the light will gonna go in. You see? The light go in because I put it to 273. And as soon it will gonna make it to all the windows automatically. The, 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 the light will gonna come inside, otherwise it was flat, it was no light inside. The next step, I could hit this 45, 60, side light more light, I could make it higher light. Oh, I don't need it, then I say close. Okay. When I hit the wall and I escape, then I already had the light pass through. The next step in here in perspective of decoration, decoration. I have the style. This style it has a library. This library shows me preset bathrooms, living rooms, dining rooms, and everything. I like this Hong Kong <coughs> style, like modern. If you see this, this is like a kind of beige, and this is a white, 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 white. Okay. I wanna put it this white. That way you see how much the light enter, and I wanna apply that colors, the floor, and everything to that that wall. Check it out. How in the back. Of my glass door, it will gonna insert already a stereo picture because that's how it was set it up before. Okay. Look, the pro down there is this. Then we hit it here twice. We put the camera to the living room and check it out the sliding door. You see, it has the mountains down there. I didn't do it. It was this option. It was this option when I put the library stuff. It shows me the option I had bedrooms, bathrooms, whatever. Those are the styles I could choose, traditional, not traditional. Then still I wanna do the rendering down there. Look, I wanna start getting the rendering. When I do the rendering, I already had the lights coming through to the windows. Okay? Then I put lights on. Okay? And it will gonna come in. Usually it could be from zero to one hundred, but it's thirty five is enough. If you if you start looking the rendering start making more true the colors. Okay? When I when you see it here 35, that's enough. You could stop it. You see how the light's coming? Do you see the how the nature of the furniture, the flooring and everything? You could make the small tile and everything. That's another video that I could show you. How to do do you see the lights here on the ceiling? Do you see the light that coming from the windows? Yeah? That's how you do this rendering to make it to make it na natural you see how, how it's coming together together look looking the stereo you could put the picture here of your stereo you know landscaping you know right now it's a picture but let's go look it's 24 25 26 it will gonna be more videos if you wanna call us 941-330-5095 our website is www.efcaf as the you see efcapus.com yeah or you could find us in intericat like usa okay as you see here is 36 i want to stop it okay down there i stop see i stop then if i want to take a, right now a rendering it will gonna give me you see the walls are like gray everything is like gray the ceiling and everything then you don't see that bit different right now i want to do the rendering look this one will gonna give me the option, this bottom, to make it more contrast, more darker, more lighter, whatever I like. But I, before I do that, I wanna put some color on the walls. Look, I put this editor, and then I hit the wall. When I go here, here is tell me what is the base. It's a wall material. Then I have to change the color. I go to color. Yeah, when I hit this color, it will gonna give me the color that I like it. And this will gonna give me all the different kind of colors. Look how it changed the colors. Do you see green? If I go to blue, 
then we'll check it out how the world we're going to change it, you see? And the bottom one, what it's making is how darker I like it, look, how much light I like it in the, in the, in the walls, yeah? Then look how I change it from color to color, look. This is the darker, this is the tone, and this is how I change the colors, look. Mm -hmm. In this case, the floor is like a little bit gray, then I had to find something that we're going to match with the floor. You know, some kind of tone, it could be down there. I had to make it darker. No, I don't like it darker. Then this is the choice of not you, it's the customer. How darker you want to have it? Lighter, darker, how you like it? Imagine that we like it down there. Okay, we say, okay, I like that one. The next step, this one, we're going to give us the true color that we want to choose. Okay? The true color in the image. Let's go see how this works. Look, do you see the image after the rendering? It will want to give us look the brightness. Look, look how it changes. You see? You want to have it darker? You want to have it lighter? More natural? How you like it? Okay. If you see the spots of the light, those are the lights that we put it. When we put the exposure, the same thing. Look. You see? How natural you want to have it. The contrast is the same thing. You see? The black. Look the black. Look. You see? That's how we're going to be the rendering at the end when we finish. Look the, the white. You want to have it a, a true white. Then I hit it. I say, okay. Then that's my rendering. Still, when I take a picture, this is a nice, beautiful. But still, it's not the full rendering. Look. When I hit this bottom, yeah. This will gonna give me the option from five to seven. I wanna put two seats. See, this give me the option to one, two, three, to four. I wanna put it to three, and this I put it the maximum. I don't use the shadow because I already see the lights coming through them. I hit it. Look, it will gonna take like kind of picture with more high definition. Then, as you see, you don't need to have the experience at all. The software already have. When you start, when we put the start, there is another option for trainings. This is introduction for the software. This is, you could make it by yourself with no experience at all, okay? And if you had something else, give us a call, 941-330-5095. This is the picture, this is the rendering. 